love to know, um, obviously as executive producers and a co-creator here, what it was that motivated you to bring this particular story and franchise back to life. Um, I think it started with, I wanted to watch this show. I mean, I always loved the movie, uh, but in some way I was like a little queer kid. You know, the movie has a lot of queer subtext and it was really empowering for me as a very bad little league baseball player to watch it and sort of feel okay about being on the field. But um, I had to imagine myself into it, you know? And I think a lot of uh, queer kids, a lot of people of color um, probably had that same experience. Mm. So as I started to look back at the, the real stories underneath it, I just kind of realized that there was a much bigger story here that was about this generation uh, of women and, and female identifying people trying to play ball. And, um, and, and I wanted to, to see that. And I think also we all need a little joy right now. Mm. And this is an incredibly joyful story set in a, in a challenging time. Not so unlike um, oh. the time that we're that we're living in. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> there's something about being able to find yourself and find opportunity and find joy even when things are hard. That um, you know, it's it's some, it's another reason we wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah. Justin, what about you? I think sort of the same. I also am queer. I was also on the field. I also, I played softball. I also both, I think, saw myself. I think so much what was inspiring about the film is to see sort of, uh, it's like a celebration of female excellence and female empowerment. And I think, like we said, sort of when that movie came out in 1992, just to tell a sports movie about women was revolutionary. Um, but, and there was so many more, I mean, that was to the research and just sort of thinking of the times, there's so much that the movie shows, but there's also so much that it couldn't. And that's kind of the opportunity that we are getting to walk into. And like, it was such a privilege and, and so exciting. So I think just sort of being inspired by the feeling of the movie and getting the opportunity to sort of broaden the lens and deepen those stories. I love that. I love that. And that kind of leads me to my next question, really. What does it mean to both you? Because obviously I've seen the show and it is magnificent um oh, thank you i know what it means many people have seen it so that's exciting oh that is okay that's good to know yeah no i got the, got the screen and i was like let's go um but i would love to know what it means to both of you to be a part of a show that really is bold um incredibly progressive and just insanely poignant as well we'll start with desta here um, I, I think it makes me a little emotional to think about it. I, I never imagined in really in my life or my career, I would get to be a part of a show like this, not just of the beloved IP that were the movie that we're stepping into, but the type of stories we're able to tell about queer people, about women, about people of color, um, trans stories, uh, and tell them in the way that we're telling them, which is so often mm -hmm. when we tell their stories, and really, I would say my story is sort of like a Black queer woman, it's told from the lens of sort of like, pain and trauma, mm. but to really step into the celebration of sort of the dream and joy, not to discount the work of joy and the challenges that exist, but that that doesn't have to be your whole story. Mm. Um, for me was, I think it, it transformed me as a person and how I told story and how I was able to sort of step into being a writer and into the world. And I, and I feel just really, really proud of the show and and what we're able to put on screen and, and being able to, like you said, you didn't see yourself, yeah. like you felt yourself in the movie, but you didn't see yourself. And to be able to do that for a new generation, including I have daughters, like including my children, it just feels really powerful. Yeah, I think it, it's, I mean, building off what Dest is saying, we're getting to make a show that, that first of all, it is new and, and I'm glad you think it's bold. It's also like all of the stories that we're telling here are real. Real and true. <laughs> this is the real oh, story. Okay. Yeah. Um, and and there's not, we didn't um, make up make uh, parts gay. of it yeah. to try to make it more yeah. um, inclusive. This is the real story and it's a story for everyone. Yeah. It's for my mom and my niece and me and my queer friends and my straight friends and hopefully for people across the country. Um, and it also happens to be very queer and centered on a lot of um, people of color. So I hope that this is the moment where we get to carry the universal story and, and hopefully tell it authentically. Um, but it's a show for everyone that's also trying to speak authentically with voices that, that you haven't heard before. Same way the movie was. Yeah. No, it's amazing, it's amazing. Well, that is... Um... That's phenomenal. Yes, I, I hope so too. And uh, that's actually all the time we have today. So thank you both for those very insightful and wonderful answers. Oh, yeah. uh,